Hey, buddy, you survived another crash. You're one tough little drone, aren't you? At least this time the battery did not pop out, so finding you was easy. Honestly, I don't know why DJI didn't include turtle mode on this thing. It's light, chances of breaking something are way lower than with my other FPV drone, the Avata 2. Ready for another shot? Let's go! Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm testing the so-called HK props, which many drone pilots claim are better than the stock DJ props, especially when it comes to handling Yao tumbles. What's an Yao tumble? <laughs> That's basically when your drone spins uncontrollably and loses stability, sometimes ending in a crash, especially when flying at low altitude. Because of its weak motors and light weight, the DJ Neo is quite vulnerable to Yao tumbles. So, let's put those props to the test and see if they actually make any difference when flying in manual slash acro mode. And we are ready to take off. This will be my second manual flight with DJ Neo. The first one didn't go very well. Almost every maneuver I made ended up with prop wash and yaw tumble. I nearly crashed 10 times. After some googling, I found out that using HK props might minimize this issue. So here we are, testing them today in Acro mode. Let's warm up a bit, because this drone is harder to fly in manual mode compared to the Avata 2. It's lighter, sure, but the Avata has much stronger motors and doesn't bounce around in the air every time there is a bit of wind. Just cruising around to check the area. I don't want to disturb anyone while testing my new props. Though, let's be honest, the DJNU is loud, you can probably hear it from 200 meters away. Alright, first slip, smooth and clean, yeah. No prop wash, that's a great sign. I'm starting to like these new props. <laughs> and this was a successful first row. Yeah, nice. Another flip, perfect again. Combined with my new rates, flying the DJ Neo is starting to feel way more natural. Confidence is growing, slowly but surely. Oops, first prop wash of the day. Totally my fault though. I tried to turn and dive, but hit the throttle mid-dive. Not a smart move. The drone got caught in its own turbulent air. Still, I'm learning, and with HK props and calm weather, this setup is perfect for practicing acro slash manual mode. And there is the second Yao Tumbo. Again, my bad. Didn't complete the row in time, and the drone couldn't recover. Alright then, let's try a different approach. I'll fly lower this time and try to keep it steady. And crash! The ND8 filter popped out, but luckily the DJ New is super durable, not a single scratch on it. Ah, <sighs> fresh start. Switching back to manual mode and hoping for no more crashes. Nice backflip though, smooth and controlled. Going low again, practicing steady flight. Ah. I feel like a drunk driver, I need 
to learn how to control that throttle. Flying between those trees, nice and easy, it feels good. I'm flying slow on purpose, I don't want to scare people and slow flight is much better for practicing at the beginning anyway. Gaining some altitude and yep, same mistake again, didn't give it enough height to recover from the flip. But hey, the drone's fine, thanks for asking. I really need to pay more attention to the altitude with this drone. It's light and fun, but definitely not that powerful enough. That said, the DJNL is perfect for beginners who want to get into FPV. It's digital. Most budget FPVs are analog. And even if you crash it a few times on the grass, it usually takes no damage. Add DJ Care and you've got one awesome little drone for training. Just make sure to switch to HK props early on. They handle prop flash and tail tumbles much better, making your flight smoother and more stable. And don't forget to start in the simulator, that's a must during the first 5-10 hours of your training. It helps you build muscle memory so you don't crash right after takeoff. Trying to do a little orbit in manual and crash again. Okay, the drone is fine, so let's start. I forgot to mention and the rates, they are also very important. And I'm planning to make a separate video about finding your perfect rates. It's kind of like finding the best fitting clothes. Everyone has their own style. Some prefer aggressive freestyle rates for fast acrobatics, but that makes the drone harder to control. Other go for cinematic style rates, smooth, calm and great for flying alongside the birds and enjoying the nature. One of the best things about the GG Neo is that it has normal and sport modes, something most FPV drones don't offer. That's what I call FPV-like flying. You get the FPV feel, but with built-in stabilization. You can't do flips and rolls, but it's perfect for beginners to get used with the goggles and control safely. See how easy it moves to the gaps in normal and sport mode? Just remember, this is a real life, not a simulator. If you're not confident in a move, do it slowly or abort like I did here and try again.
Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, hit that thumbs up and subscribe for more drone related content. More videos like this one are coming soon. See you in the next one. Fly safe and have fun.